back to my channel. My name is John, the RPG Lord. Today, we're going to learn how to create a swamp adventure. Oh yeah, the swamp. From all the things of all the great themes that you can produce, swamp is one of my absolute favorites. You know, guys, there's not many wetlands left on Earth, and every year they are disappearing, so I like to include them in my game. Now, in the back, you see a map of one of my swamp adventures, but if you want to design a swamp, you have to do it from the ground up, because then you get the full benefits. So, let's start out with setting the the theme setting the stage. That's our first point. You want to choose a theme for your swamp. And by the way, guys, I use the term swamp loosely. It includes marshes, moors, bogs, any kind of wetlands. So what I'm telling you applies to all of them. So decide if there's an overarching theme. Maybe the swamp is haunted or cursed or full of ancient magic and this kind of stuff. So you want to consider that. Then include terrain variation. You have to have, as you can see in my map, there's open waters like little lakes and rivers, of course, and there's other areas where the vegetation is so dense that you can't go through. And it, the whole area must scream a sense of foreboding, danger, and unfriendly to human life. Now, just like with the icing on the cake, you need to scatter uh, ruins throughout this or certain landmarks. So that's your third part. I love putting ancient structures in that because when you create your map, you can submerge that structure partially in water. So there you can make it an adventure where the top part of your structure is actually above water and then the bottom part, the bottom floor is already submerged. Now, what are some things that you can put on your map? Well, quicksand or swamp holes, when they step on it, they are gonna go down. You can make bog islands that almost look unnatural, but when in reality, they are just a sleeping creature. Visibility, always a good thing. You must have mist coming up at some time. So, Misty fog you can use to totally harass your players and send them in the wrong directions. And of course, there's the water. Lots of uh, swamps have stagnant water, meaning the water smells foul. It is home to some nasty critters. And of course, it's unpalatable for drinking. Now, with comes the same thing as I've already talked in the jungle adventures. You're going to have bugs galore and finding food and finding shelter, yeah, even finding a place to sit down and have a rest is going to be a challenge because everything is wet. So maybe you put a jetty in there which is completely rickety and has, so that can be dangerous. Now, what are some dangers in a swamp besides, besides the creatures? Well, first of all, you have bog gas. Swamps are notorious for having foul-smelling gases and they can ignite guys. So maybe running after someone and he runs into the swamp and just, just to get them off his tail, he sets the swamp gases on fire. So then we of course have the leeches and the blood suckers. They will have to cross water and they can be infested by leeches. That's when you can take hit points off. That's when you can give them diseases. Everything is there for you. So then, of course, you have the uh, the creatures who live in the swamp. Giant frogs, giant leeches, hags, and what have you. I mean, there's just uh, so much there. And then, of course, not only is the land hostile but and the creatures hostile, but you also have hostile flowers. This is a perfect place for flesh eating plants, black lotus, this kind of stuff. And another thing in dangerous are old overgrown trees and they have sunken in the swamp and they look like they're safe to walk on. 
but reality once you step on them they either sink in or they are so rotten that they break right away so also very great place to create hazards and dangers now when it comes to map design as i said in the beginning you need to put some variety in you mix the water with the vegetation with some elevated platforms and in between you you scatter your features as I said, put, uh, put some uh, pathways through it that they can walk on. Put some islands in, which are dry, which where they can rest on. And make sure you give them hazards galore. A swamp is not a friendly place for a D&D &D party. Lastly, I want to talk about atmosphere. I've already mentioned fog. You want to talk all about how it smells how the sounds are, and how it feels to the players. Describe that water is seeking into every orifice of them. Nothing is dry. Tell them how the fog is grabbing them with cold, wet fingers. Tell them about the strange sounds they hear at night. All of that creates a perfect atmosphere for your swamp campaign. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video today. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, there's only one RPG Lord. I see you in the next video. Have a good day.